welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas or had a great holiday season regardless of what you celebrate and were able to spend some quality times with your loved ones. I had a fabulous Christmas this year. I had so much fun this season. I'm gonna try and keep this intro quick because I know I had a Karen last time comment on how long my intro was. So I'm gonna try and condense it a little bit. My Christmas week was pretty fun. The eve of Christmas Eve, I went out to the Holiday Light Experience in Scottsdale and looked at Christmas lights with my new friend Forrest. I met him through my public speaking class at PBCC and he took me out there. We had some hot cocoa looked at lights and he got some really cool pictures of me. If I have some, I'll insert it here. On Christmas Eve, I had to work that day and usually every year at work we have our traditional annual Christmas Eve potluck where everyone brings different dishes they want and this year was my first year making a dish for my potluck. I ended up making Buckeyes, also known as peanut butter balls. This is the second time I had made this recipe and I was so happy with the way it turned out. A couple of my coworkers loved them, including my boss, so that was a really fun experience. Christmas day was really chill. I spent most of the day at my dad's house opening gifts, we had a really nice breakfast, and then I spent the rest of the night with my mom opening gifts. Overall, it was a great day. I am so incredibly excited to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I feel like this is an annual tradition on my channel now. This is the third year in a row and the fourth video of this series, which is absolutely insane to me. So without further ado, if you wanna see what I got for Christmas this year, then keep on watching. I want to point out a few background items that you may not notice that I got for Christmas this year. So these roses over here, I actually got from Forrest, my new friend. He gave them to me when we met up for the first time at Starbucks. I absolutely love them. I love that he totally surprised me with them. They're so beautiful and the smell so amazing. I also have a new scented candle that I got from a really cool small business. I really hope I pronounced the name right, but it's from Centrella Candles. I will leave the Instagram link down below. It's such a small world because I actually know the owner, Jackie, because her younger sister, Victoria, and I were really good friends in middle school. When I found out she had this small business, I was really excited to support it. And this candle I actually put on my Christmas list. The candle I have burning is called Love Spell. It smells absolutely heavenly. And that was a gift from my Nana and Pop. The first major thing that I got for Christmas was this really cute tank. It says, sorry, Santa. Nani just feels so nice. She got this from my friend Forrest. When we went to go look at Christmas lights, he let me just kind of look around in the little shops in the Santa's village. I actually saw this top just hanging with a bunch of cool custom tanks. I was trying to decide between that one and another one that said why not, which is like a dark red color, but I ended up going with this one because it was a perfect shirt to wear for Christmas and I love the dark green color is just way more flattering in my opinion. The next thing I got for Christmas was the Revlon One Step Volumizer. I have actually been hearing about this product for a while now. One day my grandma texted me and she was showing me this product and asked me if I wanted it. At the time I was like, no, I don't really need it. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, this would be amazing for me to have. I love my natural curls, but I'm not gonna spend hours on hours trying to straighten and curl my hair each day just to try to make it look halfway decent. I actually styled my hair with the styler today to show you guys. It absolutely looks so good. And this was from my mom. The next Christmas gift I got was this Pink Floyd vinyl. This was actually from my dad and stepmom, but this is a pretty iconic vinyl to get. This is the Dark Side of the Moon album and I've always been obsessed with this cover. Even though this isn't one that I particularly asked for, this is definitely a good album to have in my collection. So I'm really excited to play this. 
The next thing I got for Christmas was this really cute NAU baseball cap. I got this from my mom. I thought it was very fitting to have at least one piece of NAU merch since I will be starting with them in the spring. And then my dad and stepmom also got me this stylophone for Christmas. This isn't a gift that I necessarily asked for either, but my dad's <laughs> rationale for getting me this was that he was watching a TV special about the Beatles recently, and the Beatles were using this particular instrument to kind of make their music, which I thought was pretty cool. And even though I wasn't sure how much of a use I would have for this because my inspiration to create new music, it kind of comes and goes in waves. So sometimes I'm into it, sometimes I'm not, but this was still very thoughtful regardless. And I played with it a little bit and I had some fun. I got another vinyl. This is the fourth vinyl I've got this year, but this is the Elvis Presley 50 Greatest Hits. I got this specific vinyl from my grandparents. I have been obsessed with Elvis for many, many years now, and I remember specifically when I was younger and in my childhood, I remember being at my grandparents' house and seeing this baby pink Elvis Presley beach towel, and I was like, this is so cool. Once I started listening to Elvis's music and really just kind of understanding the history, I was even more obsessed with him, and I feel a special connection to Elvis since I did live in Memphis for a short period of time uh, back three years ago and I got to visit Graceland which was actually very close to where my mom and I were living at the time. Another gift I got this year for Christmas were these three pairs of socks. They're kind of longer socks but they're from Dr. Scholl's. My mom got these socks for me because she knows that I wear them a lot especially when I'm working out. And sometimes when I'm wearing certain socks, I can easily get blisters. My mom wanted me to have some longer pairs that I can scrunch up. And I really like the embroidery on these socks. It definitely looks very cute and cozy. Another Christmas gift I got is pretty iconic in my opinion. This has actually been one that I have been wanting for so, so long now. This is a pair of Doc Martens. I have literally been wanting these since I was a freshman in high school. In years, that's like eight years. Well, my dad and stepmom got me these. They are the 1460 boots. I originally wanted Doc Martens when I saw one of my good friends from middle school wearing them and they looked so cool on her and I've worn them once. I'm absolutely obsessed. My stepmom had called my mom to ask about shoe size for me and so when my mom found out that I was getting Doc Martens she wanted a pair so coincidentally my grandma also got my mom a pair of Doc Martens so now we're twinning. These next gifts I got for Christmas are ones that I got for myself as part of my birthday reward at American Eagle. I got four new tops. This one is really, really pretty. It is white and it has really beautiful puff sleeves and it has this beautiful embroidery detail. And I did get all of these pieces on sale. I just don't remember the prices right now. I also got myself my very first black bodysuit. I really love the high neck on this one and the material is super soft and comfy. I also got myself a really pretty blousey tank. It's brown, kind of like a dark brown, and it does have really pretty embroidery at the top. It's spaghetti straps and it has buttons on the front and it kind of flows at the bottom. There's a little tie, like a satin tie on the front so you can adjust it however you want. I have been loving browns and just neutral colors lately so I'm so excited to have this piece in my wardrobe. The final top I got from American Eagle is this really, really pretty blousey tank. It's navy blue with white floral print and it does have lace detailing at the top. It's really, really nice and spaghetti straps and it does flow nicely at the bottom, has lace and then a cute little bow. Another thing I got myself for Christmas was a new pair of pajamas. These are from Victoria's Secret. They had so many cute pajamas this year and I know I was like 
trying to debate on whether or not to get some for my birthday reward, but I got them after the fact. It comes with a white t-shirt that says love in silver text. And then the pants are this beautiful shade of like cherry red. And then there's like a white pink love print and the little striping on the side. And it's a kind of a jogger style pant. And now I have a good pair of pajamas just really really nice next thing i got for christmas was this super cute jogger set it's a really pretty baby pink color and it does have a kind of bubblegum pink star print all along the joggers and the sweatshirt the sweatshirt is so cute because it is kind of a crew neck style but it does cinch at the bottom which is really nice so you can adjust it to however you want it to fit. I actually worn this certain set a few times around the house and it's super comfortable so my mom did a fantastic job of picking that out for me. The next thing I got for Christmas this year is actually another background item so I'm going to sh shift the camera over but I did get a new art print. The art print that you're seeing right now is Claude Monet Water Lilies. This was from my dad and stepmom. This particular art piece was actually something that was very meaningful to me to get as a Christmas gift this year. When I was in sixth grade, I had a school project. We were doing the art history fair at the very end of everything. I had to choose a specific artist to research and present on. And so I wasn't sure who to pick, but my teacher ended up helping me out and she recommended that I pick Claude Monet. I really loved his artwork. It's just so tranquil and peaceful and just the way that he creates his impressionist pieces is absolutely stunning to me. And so the Water Lilies piece was actually a painting that I recreated for my art history project. The fact that my dad picked out this art print for me that was from MoMA is so cool and he has those posters all over his house of different art pieces of course. It was really sweet of my dad to think of me and that particular memory. It definitely means a lot. And then another thing I got for Christmas this year were two packs of Polaroid Insta-X Mini film in this kind of like macaroon color. It's really, really cute. I have been needing some new film for my Polaroid camera for a while now. Next Christmas gift I got was this water and stain shield. This is from Vans. This was actually from my grandparents and a gift that I was not expecting to get at all. Another thing I got for Christmas this year was this really beautiful star crystal paperweight. This was from my mom. She picked this out for me because she knows that she wanted me to have something that represents who I am, which is a star. And it just has a lot of beauty and personal meaning in my life. Another thing I got for Christmas was a set of oversized satin scrunchies. I got these from my Nana and Pop. So I got this really pretty baby pink shade. I got a really pretty ivory shade and I got a really pretty tan nude shade. I needed some oversized scrunchies, not only to make myself look cute, but also because of how thick my hair is and sometimes the thinner ones just don't do my hair really a lot of justice. So I absolutely love them and I just love how luxurious they feel. Another thing I got for Christmas this year was a gift card. My dad and stepmom gave me this gift card and a really cute holder. I definitely want to keep it to use for future gifts. But I did get a Visa gift card for $50. I also got a Sephora gift card as well for $30, but I already used it yesterday and I have a huge Sephora order coming. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a Sephora haul. Another thing I got for Christmas this year was a new pair of fitness gloves. Since I have been trying to get myself to go to the gym more, I definitely have needed a new pair 
at least a decent pair if I want to increase my resistance on the weights. I don't want to have calluses on my hands. And these are really, really cute. They're baby pink with kind of this mesh detailing and they're also gray and black. It does come with this really nice bag so you know exactly where they are at all times. And this is definitely an essential piece for my gym bag, especially because I'm gonna be spending a lot of time there next year. Y'all better get ready. <laughs> Another gift I got this year for Christmas was this Elevate Room Mist. This is a grapefruit and thyme scent, and it also has notes of verbena and rhubarb. I ended up getting this from my sister Hannah. It smells really, really good. It smells very fresh and feminine and beautiful. So Hannah did a great job of picking this out for me. The next gift I got for Christmas was this super, super cute drawing that my sister Olivia made of me. It is so freaking adorable. It says, Merry Christmas on the side, and it says, I love you on the top. She put little makeup drawings over here on towards the right, and on the left-hand side, she put a little report card that says A plus with a pencil, which I think is so cute, but I love seeing Olivia grow in her drawings and just get better, and I love that she kind of sees me as this like anime character. I absolutely love it. The final gift I got this year for Christmas was this Dark Kiss Ultra Shea Body Cream. If you guys know me really well, I used to be obsessed with collecting the Bath & Body Works lotions. But over the years, I've noticed that as I need more moisture, I tend to like the body creams instead of the lotions just because I find that they last longer and just have way more moisture. Dark Kiss is such an iconic scent for me. I first discovered it when I was like 12 years old and it's the perfect scent for winter and it's just like edgy but also really beautiful and feminine. Now let's move on to stocking stuffers. The first stocking stuffer I got was this stainless steel set of tongue scrapers. This is from my dad and stepmom. It's interesting that they put this in my stocking this year because I always brush my tongue or at least try to and the fact that they have this stuff like this is so interesting and I think it'd be really really helpful for me it's improving my hygiene and self-care. Another stocking stuffer I got for Christmas this year was this bamboo lyocell eye mask. I got this from my dad and stepmom and I'm so excited to try this because not only am I wanting to work on being more eco-friendly but also I definitely need a new eye mask. I've had the same one for many, many years. So hopefully this will be very soft and soothing for me to wear. Another stocking stuffer I received this year was this little cute desk sign. It's pink and it says girl boss in bold font. And this is perfect for me to put on my desk. It is so perfect for just me and who I am. This is also for my dad and step mom. Another stocking stuffer I received this year was this organic lavender hand sanitizer spray. I absolutely love lavender scent, but also the hand sanitizer sprays have come in really handy for when I don't want to squeeze out the actual tubes. My step mom says she loves this. It's absolutely amazing. It's from the brand Dr. Bronner's. Another stocking stuffer I got for Christmas this year was this Addison and Gates body oil. This is lychee rose. It is animal test free and vegan, which is really, really nice. But the body oil itself smells so, so good. Another stocking stuffer I received was this unicorn snot lip gloss. My sisters and I all got this in our stockings, but we all got different colors. But it's really, really pretty. It's Mine is like pink and it has rainbow glitter inside. Another stocking stuffer I got for Christmas this year was this purse slash key hanger. This is so important for me to have because not only to keep my purse nice when I'm going out, but also just to make sure that I have that extra sense of security. My dad told me that just hanging your purse on the back of a chair when you're going out is a huge risk for theft. This was much needed and this snake print is really, really cute. Another stocking stuffer I got this year was this Equate Shave Gel. This is the coconut scent. My mom gave this to me and I love anything coconut scented. 
hopefully this will work for my sensitive skin though because there's been shaving creams out there in the past that haven't always worked for me and I just have to keep that in the back of my mind. Another gift or stocking stuffer, I should say, that I got for Christmas was this Hearts from Haiti Heart Rock. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like this greenish gray color. I am so excited to add this to my stone collection. This was for my dad and stepmom. They also gave me this really cool owl wooden, I think it is a phone holder. I know you can fold other things in there as well, but I really love it because I feel like owls are my spirit animal in a way. They are so cute and peaceful and just very observant. And that's why I like them. Another stocking stuffer I got was this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. My mom is obsessed with Great Lash. It's definitely something that she used back in the day. I also got the Maybelline Dream Refresh BB Cream as a stocking stuffer, but I already put it away, which is why I don't have it out right now. I also got for a stocking stuffer this CoverGirl lipstick. It's liquid lipstick. It's called Melting Pout Vinyl Val, and it's in the shade Get Into It. Immediately when I saw that, I was thinking of that song by Doja Cat, Get Into It, Yeah. These two were from my dad and stepmom. There are a couple of face masks. This one is the True Nature Pore Clearing Mask, and then this one is a pearl face mask pack. I am always in need of some good sheet masks in my life. The other two sheet masks I got from my mom. This one is vitamin C and collagen. And then this one is vitamin E, calm and restore two in one. So I am very, very excited to try these. Overall, I feel so incredibly grateful to have had a wonderful Christmas. I'm just so blessed. I absolutely love everything. That I got this year and I hope that I can spread love to all of you today and if I don't see you guys for a little while I truly wish you all a happy wonderful and successful new year here's the 2022 and everything that it will bring if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up it definitely helps with the algorithm also, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed. It's the best way to join my Sassy Squad. It's completely free to join as well. Also, if you wanna stay up to date with my content, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, stay sassy.